Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Hate. This time we are playing Tekken 6. Obviously we're actually playing Barbie Supermodel, aka Vapid Bitch Simulator. Oh, this is inarguably the worst game I've played so far on the Let's Hate series. And that's saying something considering games like Steven Seagal is the final option. Anyway, I guess let's fucking get started. So we're going to play in the Supermodel game mode. Uh, and it starts here with Barbie enjoying, you know, a nice journal entry filled day at our... Beverly Hills Mansion, and then she's deciding, oh, wait, I think I might want to go for a drive. So now we're doing this basically like Ghostbusters on the NES-esque driving sequence here. We've got to pick up these hearts to give ourselves health, and pick up these stars that I guess give us bonuses, but we've also got to watch out for these cars that want to come into contact with us. For a driving section, this has probably the worst sense of speed I've ever encountered, but we'll get back to that later. Now, memorize quickly what Barbie is wearing because we got to take her behind the curtain here, and when she comes back with the correct outfit, we got to match it to the one in the magazine. See, she had like a white shirt on, and like some yellow pants or something. Oh, man. I cannot imagine, even as a young girl, which I was not, but you could not have been pleased playing this game, right? Particularly sections like this, where you're just like, nope, not the ski jacket, go back. Nope, not the skidoo clothing. One more time, mm, not the elegant evening gown. Can you come out in your, like, Archie Andrews era 1950s hoop skirt, please? I'm pretty sure that was it, but she had yellow pants. Oh, we can change it by using some of the buttons. Okay, well, I think she had, like, some yellow. Maybe this yellow. There is no yellow. Oh, God. Pink, maybe? How can I change it? There we go, that looks perfect. I got way too excited there. Let's see what kind of bonus you got. 50 po 150 points! I got it almost perfect. Why, well, again, sounding far too excited there. So then we pose for that magazine cover. We're going to do a little bit more driving, and, you know, this is pretty much like a Paris Hilton simulator, because I can't avoid the drive erratically and crash into things. Let me go past Sun's Chinese Theater there. Now, the basic concept of the game, uh, you're not going to believe me, because it's almost infathomably retarded. Basically, Barbie is a supermodel, and she's got to practice her moves. So first she drives to practice, and here we are right now. So you can see i got to hit Y, and then down, and then Y, and then left, and then X, and then up, and then X up. So, do you think you can remember that? Y, do the twirl, down, Y, to the left, X, up, X, up. So now that we've learned this, like, DDR on insane mode style game, we can start driving back. Now that we know our moves, oh, come on, who's fucking, uh, I don't know, who's a famous celebrity who got a DUI? I can't remember. Tom, is that Tom Sizemore driving that car? Oh, it's probably a dated reference. Mel Gibson, is that Mel Gibson driving that car? It is Hollywood. So now we get another Match Barbie with a magazine cover. She's wearing earrings that have combs on them. That's pretty much the only thing I remember from that, so let's get the combs earrings there. Oh, oh, there they are. We gotta go back. No, not the Led Zeppelin sign. Not uh, Baraka's Claws for Mortal Kombat. Not the symbol for Fallout 3. What is that? Is that like a Reddit downvote? Two-headed dildo from Requiem for a Dream. Bullets. I don't know, man. Hoop earrings. Wait, uh, there they are, the combs. Who wear earrings with combs on them? It just sounds retarded. Anyway. Oh, I got the hair bonus and the earring bonus. Good for me. Now, once we get back, believe it or not, uh, we're going to have to actually perform that dance that we learned. So, I hope you remember. I believe it was Y down. Well, you don't even need to remember the directions, because the directions are mapped for you. I believe it was YYXX. Hopefully you can keep that in your brain, because otherwise, well, you'll suffer absolutely no consequence whatsoever. But I guess you'll look like a fool in front of all of those handsome modeling judges. So here I am modeling my latest streaker trench coat. Y down. Y left. Ooh, look at the way she Y lefts. She looks good. And then we'll X up. What's possibly the worst performance I've ever seen in my entire life. Anyway, so that's level one in the books. Now level two, and you're probably starting to notice a theme, which is Barbie sitting around on her anorexic ass and then deciding, hey, I should go somewhere in the right direction. And then she picks a method of transportation. This time it's rollerblading. So we're going to rollerblade. Watch out for those seagulls coming at us through the Z dimension there. Uh, watch out for the beach balls, of course, totally unattended. The frisbees that are just being thrown from nobody into the water. And we'll just keep roller skating, and now you gotta match Barbie with the magazine cover. Clearly a lot of uh, a lot of time went into this game. So you gotta get the bathing suit with the hearts on it. Whoever designed this game, I, I'm, I, it might be a woman, it might be a man. Either way, I feel really bad for them because they could not possibly have felt good about the work that they were doing. They could not possibly have felt that this is like fulfilling or that they were providing a good product. I mean, 
There are actually, believe it or not, worse Barbie games than this. I mean, I didn't play them as a kid, but I've played them, you know, as I've gotten this hobby of playing shitty games. But this one is probably the one that I believe is the most toxic, or the one that is the most most damaging to civilization, because it is just so vapid. Oh, that was the that was the outfit I wanted. Oh, you telling me I gotta go all the way back? Oh, Jesus Christ! You think you can just hit left instead of hitting right? But no, that just causes you to go back anyway. Give me the. Why am I even worried about how many points I get in this? I think I've demonstrated my my thesis with respect to this game. Whatever. Let's just take this one. That was her with the hat. No bonus points. Oh, that's a goddamn shame. What are these two magazines beside her? It looks like the one dude is totally creeping on her. So we have, um, we can go fast. Get out of my way, palm tree. Uh, we can hit the brakes, or we can go fast, or we can hit the brakes. Endless amount of variety, uh, when you think about it. Frisbee comedy right in the minge. Hmm. And, you know, to the game's credit, there is a lot of variety. I mean, before we were on the Beverly Hills Road, now we're on, like, Venice Beach. So you get to see pretty much every aspect of California, which, you know, that would not surprise me if that was a quote that was on the game's box. So, B-Y-B-Y. Thanks, I don't think I need to practice that anymore. I've probably got it. So now we go rollerblading back, and watch out, our, our health is pretty low, or as they call it, chance, which doesn't really seem to make much sense. I guess if Barbie scrapes her knees, she's not going to be much good in that, like, really revealing evening gown that we'll probably be wearing, or, you know, hoops, disco-era John Travolta suit. Oh, God, I forgot about this. Match Barbie with the magazine cover. She's got a green bow in her hair, pink eyeshadow, and long earrings. Again, sentences I never thought I would utter in real life. No, I don't remember what color her nails are. What color was her eyeshadows? Oh, God, I totally forgot. Whatever, whatever just take it. I got the nails right, at least. Thank God I switched those. Okay. It's like, teen boy beside her. That was the name of the magazine, not a description of the person on the cover. I know I had a subscription to teen boy when I was younger. It sounds like something the police would take me away for saying. Oh, uh, please, just, just let me get to this gig! Uh, gotta get that chance! Oh, no! Uh, try again. Press start to continue. Uh, Barbie? What does Barbie do for... Oh, right. She's a supermodel. That explains why her house is so good. I like that she's got a copy of Time Magazine on her table. Yeah, I fucking bet. Anyway, if you think I'm playing through that again, you're fucking crazy. This has been, let's say, Barbie Supermodel. Never play this game if you have a daughter. It will turn her into one of the worst people that exists on planet Earth. As always, thanks for watching. Let's say, if you have a suggestion... Or uh, another word that I can't say properly. Uh, leave your suggestion in the comments, and I will give it due diligence. I'll play it if it seems appropriate for the series. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.